since childhood we have been taught how to walk how to eat how to how to eat how to walk how to talk but we have never been taught how to think positively i think positive mindset is nothing but trying to find at least one good thing in very bad situation whenever we face any failure issues we have to we should try to find at least one good thing in that situation we must try to find blessing in disguise and that will lead us to more buoyant and beautiful life good morning once i was struggling to get an ecnr on my passport now ecnr concept has totally been uh, called out of the system earlier we need to have an ecnr stamp to travel anything everywhere in the world i was struggling to get it i went to passport office almost 10 times over there i was very depressed i don't knew what to do all my colleagues have got that ecnr stamp so they were in the various parts of our country i thought the same rule why is there differentiation in the rule when it comes to pune when all my colleagues have got that ecnr stamp and i just thought and i visualize that if it happens that the passport officer calls me and says me that let me call our new delhi office and ask what exactly the rule is i just pictureize everything in my mind and believe me the same thing happened when i next visited the passport office so that is the power of your positive mindset so let us see what all has to be said by our toastmaster of the day about the positive mindset 
with this i would like to call upon our toast master of the day toast okay before that let us have a guest introduction anybody guest online or offline please come thank you for question how do you think about the I hope uh, I am audible to all. So, the president and the toastmaster of the day and fellow toastmasters. Good morning to everyone. I am Vinit. Uh, I was working as an infosian two years back in the Pune. There, I came to know about toastmasters, which was a very privileged club to uh, enhance your skills. Basically, I am a mechanical engineer, and then I. worked in infosys for 2 years and then i left the job and right now i'm preparing upsc as a full time endeavor so the very purpose of joining this club uh, was that to enhance my public speaking skills it is very easy to lay on the bed and think about uh, what i'll speak and what i'm going to do like i remember a moment where i was lying on my bed thinking about how good my speech would be had it been uh, in front of tens and thousands of people i was so confident that for a moment i thought i could run for prime ministership so that was the thing but it's a uh, when you come here and see all the faces it's a different ball game altogether people are looking at you and uh, making some judgments of course positive judgments and uh, then you come to know that uh, it's very essential to join a club or to come on a stage where you can see yourself and you can show yourself to others and let them judge about you let them uh, give you a good uh, i would say analysis about how you pursue your things so the fundamental or the crux i would say of joining this club is to uh, to get things out of me which have been hidden for so long so yeah that's that's all from my side thank you thank you uh, any other guest good morning come to all another exciting program of uh, exciting program of uh, sorry welcome to another exciting program of fun and learning at the 447 toastmaster meeting of pune northeast uh, northwest club thank you i am sankhya thade and today i am your host for the day first and foremost i extend my gratitude to all of you you are here with us and enhance our value of this meeting and it's a it's a beyond moment for all of us so yes let's start uh, with the topic so uh, mr president i already told that name of the book and that is the actual inspire inspiring thing for me i just remember before one year i started interior at my home and that is that situation actually that long running interior at my home for one year and that situation is the blessing in 
this girl for me. Yeah. And after that, I'm goes into very negative mindset. And then I read that book, Power of Subconscious Mind, <clears throat> and changed my life. <clears throat> I take action, join Toastmaster. So one of the that book is very, very responsible for that. Yes. So today's topic is positive mindset. That's why I choose that topic, positive mindset. So what is, okay, the first, how many people agree with me that impossible is a negative word? It is a negative word? Negative word? But I can say, this is not a negative word. It depends on your mindset. The impossible word itself says, I am possible. So if you think about that, like, like that, 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 then you found, you, you can find positivity in that word. Yes. So today, uh, topic is the positive mindset. And what is a mindset? The mindset is belief, belief about yourself and your basic abilities and qualities. And there are two type of mindset, actually three type of mindset, but the mostly we use the word that two type of mindset, one is a positive and one is a negative, but one is a middle that a more mediocre, mediocre that all of guys mostly coming into that category, mediocre. So, yes. So let's start with one small story first. This story, this story is about one little boy. He liked football so much. And one day morning, one thought had come into his mind that I want to become a football player. And he started to believe on that thought strongly and wrote down into the book on the paper so many times. And after that, he realized and he shared that thought with parents. And unfortunately, his parents is very, very positive minded people. They also, they also some, after some days, they also realized his craziness about the football. And they enrolled him immediately into one club, football club. Now, he began the journey of, as a young football player in club and he improved a lot day by day, day by day. He played very well football. After some time, that, that committee of that club also notified to his guy, yeah, he is a good football player. But there was a problem. There was a problem. He is a very small in height than other guys. Means it's not a normal. And they very very worried about that, about the selection. So they asked to his parents to consult with the doctor. And they immediately take action and go to the doc went to the doctor. And after doctor consulting, yes, seriously, there was a problem. There was a major problem that is not negligible for any player. And at 10, age 10, he was diagnosed the growth hormone deficiency. After this sad news, his parent was disheartened. But that boy was not. That boy was not. He saw this situation, this problem as a 
blessing in this guest. How? Why? Why did think thought like that? Because yes, why? Why he like? Why he thought? Why did not broken down? Because of his positive mindset, and he accepted that problem and find out the way how to play with that problem. He he started. He started to playing because his belief is very, very. His belief was very, very strong. I want to become a great football player. And he started playing. What do you think about it? Is it completed story? Yes, guys. Not. Of course not. It is not completed. But yes, first I explain the today's program. Then continue the story in next session. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The first, let me explain the program for the day. For the benefit of the guest, we have two sessions. The first is the first half will consist of three prepared speeches, which will be evaluated by seasonal toastmaster. After the interval, we have a table topic session. and where guest as well as member are challenged to think or on feet or on their feet and deliver a speech of 1 to 2 minutes after that we will be having all the role players presenting their report followed by the moment of glory okay now time to introduce the role player we have so many role player here that coordinate to me and our that program to complete it successfully so the first role player is timer in toast master meeting totally tightly bounded with the time so track that time we have a devi who is a component designer by profession she loves exploring new things Please welcome Toastmaster Devi. Who will explain about this role? Welcome. How are you? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Time isn't the main thing. It's the only thing. As when time is gone, it never comes back. As a timer. i am devi timer for the today's meeting good morning mr president toastmaster of the day fellow
fellow toastmasters and dear guests a very good morning to everyone so it's always a buoyant experience for me to speak in front of uh, toastmaster and today i'm playing a role of our counter in this role i will be noting down the use of filler words and filler sounds filler words will be like well but so you know and some filler sounds will be like ah uh, mm, mm, this so and just to let you know how you can reduce this filler sounds and filler words so you can be a little slow down when you speak so that this slow down will become blessing in disguise for you guys thank you so much over to you thank, thank you. you thank you sister toastmaster sita the next is the language evaluator the, the language is very important part of any public speaking as well as communication so giving some feedback on that we have toastmaster sanika who is a chatter founder by profession she loves swimming so much so please sanika how are you how are you yeah i am great okay so good morning presiding officer fellow toastmasters and dear guests so today as a grammarian i will be evaluating the poor usage and good usage of english language in this meeting uh, i will also be sharing the meanings and the corrections for this language i will also provide the word of the day and phrase of the day for today so uh, the phrase of the day is a blessing in disguise meaning is an apparent misfortune that eventually has good results examples are losing that job was a blessing in disguise other example can be her illness confined her to her home which was truly a blessing in her disguise the word of the day is buoyant it is pronounced as buoyant it's an adjective the meaning is cheerful and optimistic the examples can be she was buoyant she was in a buoyant mood and they were looking forward to their new life we have a buoyant economy and um, unemployment is considerably low than regional average i would like all of you to use these words in your own sentences can we have some examples for that from the audience or the guests it's on online or offline that was a wonderful usage of the phrase of the day uh, toastmaster deep wow thank you so much so i would request all of you to extensively use this word of the day and phrase of the day throughout this meeting i would also request the audience to show a thumbs up or for the online uh, audience some emojis uh, when these words are used in this meeting i will share my report at the end of this meeting thank you so much thank you sanita thank you so much and now last 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 but not least the general evaluator general evaluator we have a toastmaster nilesh who is a manager by profession he loves reading a book please welcome toastmaster nilesh how are you presiding officer fellow toastmasters and my dear guests 
as a general evaluator today i will be keeping an eye of entire meeting role players and i will be presenting my report at the end of this meeting thank you so much thank you thank you nilesh thank you roshan nilesh thank you so much to all role player so the time is come that we will start our first half that the prepared speeches so pattern is that the first the evaluator come here and explain the objective of that speech so first speech word from word from presentation master will be delivered by toast master chandrakant the evaluator for this speech is toast master rohan i request the evaluator toast master rohan to read the objective of the speech please welcome how are you i'm fine good morning fellow toast master of the day fellow toast masters and dear guests my target speaker toast master chandrakant will be delivering his ice breaker speech his pathway is presentry mastery presentation mastery i would call upon toast master chandrakant to deliver his speech best of luck for the ice breaker speech Am I audible? Several year back, I was just observing the people around me was using one word while looking at me. Initially, I was uh, surprised or, or didn't pay attention. But after some time, I paid, and I observe the one word actually. The word. which mean to be there for me with my, my entire life chandrakan my name good morning president fellow toast master toast master of the day and dear guests my name was the first word i added in my life and that was just a beginning and after that i read so many words when i was a kid i came across few words like Shy, reserved, timid, always in fear, poor, good and sincere. Because poor man is always sincere. So these are the words. These words were unwanted concern by my relatives about my life that how I will survive in the life. But these ro these words played very major role. to shape my personality and the reason was the positive word i took as a compliment and negative word as areas of improvement and i continue my life then after few years when i was young even i am also young right now so i came across different words the words like power strength vision goal nothing is impossible sky is the limit i was so much excited and energetic like i was set on a march to make a change in the world then i saw her i was stunned she was beautiful gorgeous elegant she was so beautiful that i couldn't take my eyes away from her I was stunned. Then I saw another her beside her. She was also beautiful, elegant, gorgeous. A few moments before, I was looking for a change in the world, and now my world is a what change? I was in college. Then I started to add a few more words in my dictionary. The words like singing, music. compassion evening dancing 
and obviously gym so that i just started to wake up early in the morning instead of taking evening gym i took gym classes in the morning so i was enjoying those days and basically i was trying to portray myself as an all rounder guy he ready to participate in any event any competition and try to impress the obvious reason is to impress the girl so i was really enjoying those days and then suddenly one word hit me strongly basically there were the two words the words were exam and career i forgot everything all the words faded away and i focused on my study i put all my hard work into study with the hope of getting good score better job best wife but that was the thing at that i have so that i can live happily ever after but after few years i realized life is a not fairy tale to have happy or tragic end it just has taxes emis bills and definitely not last and definitely not least a big fat belly i was settled in my life and here i am right in front of you when i look back i saw that i added many words in my life but there were few words i to which i didn't pay attention and that could be a meaningful so here i like to say to myself so far you added many words in life few words you miss might focus and get out of this noise listen to your inner voice and discover true meaning of life otherwise it will be just survival fight thank you very nice speech it's the power of energy yeah, yeah. thank you how are you now feeling great <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank you so much Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, guys, we have yes. Please give us time to watch. Yeah, please, please, yeah. please give us time to watch. Yes. Please. thank you thank you so much guys we have a 30 second for if you, if anyone want to give a feedback then you can please time up start the time time is start thank you guys thank you the next speech the fear of missing out from dynamic leadership will be delivered by those master tulsi and evaluator for this speech is those master deep i request to evaluator those master deep read to objective for the speech welcome please how are you deep i'm excellent thank you thank you so much Mr President fellow toastmasters toastmaster of the day and my dear guest today my speaker the target speaker will be presenting a project for form level 1 of dynamic leadership pathway it's a simple purpose of the speech she will be delivering the speech which will be evaluated by me and with that evaluation she is going to apply the feedback whatever she is uh, she will be getting 
out of my evaluation. With that note, I would like to hand it over to the uh, speaker for her speech. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster B. Good morning, presiding officer, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. I'm Tulsi and delivering my speech after a long time, and I hope there must be some causes, some mistakes, so please excuse me for that. As my topic is fear of missing out. Humans are connected with, humans are wired with connections and involvement, but the fear of missing out might affect them negatively on their physical and mental stress at a times. As we know that FOMO, or we can refer it as fear of missing out, is an anxiety when we can see that others are, uh, when we feel it's, it's, a, it's only a feeling or a perspective that others are living a life which is better than ours, they are having more fun, they are experiencing something that we are not experiencing right now. So these kinds of feelings are arises from this uh, uh, feelings uh, from this fear. And I, I just want to know that have you heard about the FOMO? I have a question for you. Have you or heard about this word FOMO, or have you experienced this feeling of FOMO? Anyone? Yes. Yes, I can agree that we all humans have this kind of feeling because it's a common feeling. It triggers out like when, when someone is posting photos or someone is sending updates, someone is uh, posting on Instagram, like someone is uh, roaming around, around the world and we are not. Then these kinds of triggers which is arising un under us and that we feel that we are missing out something that other sides experiencing. This term was coined by Dr. Dan Harman in 1996. And this is not a new term in this era because social media has influenced these words, these feelings very much in common societies that people come to know that someone is doing really very well and we are lagging behind. But social media gives uh, it uh, different platforms on, uh, on which we can see that people who are enjoying their lives and we are not. So we can, I, I should refer this because I am forgetting it. Sorry for that. The term fear of missing out was coined by Dr. Hanman in research paper. The phenomenon is not new to this era, but becoming increasingly common thanks to this for this through social media. Social media has accelerated FOMO in many ways. It creates a platform for bragging, for events, and if even it's happiness, it seems to be competition at times. FOMO is often triggered by seeing post updates and photos for other people. And it has two fundamental steps. It starts with fear of missing out. And we human have a compulsive behavior like we should stick to the social connections. It may be arises to the self doubts like what will happen if I will not go there, if I will not join this event, will people take it negatively that I am not joining this event? Or will I be talked less? Will I be talked about uh, would I be talked about that you are not coming to the event or you are not following any trends. So these are the feelings, these are the fear which is coming inside us. Now coming to the point how to overcome this. So to overcome this, and you have to build a strong relationship with people who are connected to, a, to you, who are connected to your uh, lifestyle who are connected who are uh, who are your family member who are very supportive to you you can take the help and also there is a strategy you can incorporate in your life like set a boundaries for your social media timings so spend less time or do something productive which is very much beneficial for you or self practice 
be aware of, about what you are thinking, what, what is inside you, what you truly admire, what you truly want to do in your life and stick on that and uh, increase on, uh, on that path. Again is cultivate gratitude. Whoever in your life, either it's a thing, if it's a pet, it's a uh, family members, show some gratitude towards that, that you are there and they are there to support you in that uh, difficult situations. Also, there is, uh, there, the human should be present at a moment. Like they, there is a tendency that I, I can do that, I can this also. There are multiple things they can try to achieve in a shorter period. So stick on that and be present in the moment, whatever you are doing, whatever experience you have gained from, the, from your life, whatever you have gained from the surroundings, stick on that and work on that. You can, it, it would be better to be, make you a confident person. And also there is a term called JOMO, joy of missing out, which is totally opposite to FOMO. Rather than sulking on negativity that I have not done this, I have not done that, it's, take it as a blessing in disguise. Take this opportunity. Take rest and try, think about yourself that whatever I am doing, whatever confidence I have gained in my life is, uh, is the thing on which if I work on, I can achieve many milestones. In short, I can say that FOMO is a feeling that we all have in uh, we all have us uh, we all have in us, but it depends upon whether we are thinking it's a it's, this is the fear we are facing. We have to acknowledge it that if I am trapped of this feeling, if yes, they take all help of all your loved ones and try to achieve that. Try to think that this is a process and th this process will take time to overcome. So I would say that we should uh, live a life with full, which is full of excitement. There are a lot many things on which we can uh, which we can write. And with this, I would like to complete my speech. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kursi, for your bright speech. So, please sign on. Start for the speaker. Yeah, please. Time is start for the speaker. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Last but not least, the third speech, what we communicate that matters <laughs> from visionary communication. You will be delivered by Toastmaster Nilesh and the evaluator for this speech, Toastmaster Jay. I request the evaluator, Toastmaster Jay, to read the objective of this speech. Hi, Toastmaster Nilesh. How are you? Namaste. Welcome to Indian Music Channel. The Bluetooth demand is ready to play. We are not able to hear you, Toastmaster Nilesh. <coughs> Hello. Now I hope I'm audible. <laughs> I'm evaluator. Jay, Jay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, completely fine. Yeah. Uh, hi, Jay. Sorry, my mistake that. <laughs> okay, how are you, Jay? Going great. Thank you. Yeah, I was okay. Yeah, please. Perfect. So the project is communicate change. The purpose of this project is to practice the skills needed to effectively communicate change to a group or organization. Time limit is five to seven minutes. 
बेस्ट ऑफ लक टू स्पीकर ओवर टू यू थैंक यू एम ऑडिबल क्लियरली ऑनलाइन पीपल presiding officer fellow toastmasters and my dear guests good morning once again do you know more than 60% of organizational decisions especially about changes fails why because they are not able to communicate it in right way organizational changes are important and they are going to happen but how we communicate or what we communicate that matters i would like to give you one example couple of years back one of the electrical two wheeler company had a zoom meeting and in that zoom meeting they ask 406 people to leave what do you think when we hear this kind of news what do you think we get pressurized we get tension we feel for our family because we are humans we are not machines we have emotions but while making this decision which is important but how we are communicating are we showing that compassion that care for coworker that is most important and most of the companies fails to do that and that is the reason there is anxiety in the team member in the employees dissatisfaction criticism for the organization how to deal with that i would like to give you another example which again i read few days back one of the company had the same sort of situation they had to cut the cost for any reason but they had proper communication plan in place they decided special like especially leadership team they decided to talk to people in three phases first phase they call people in a meeting room and they explain what is going on currently what are the challenges company is facing right now they also mention that we are currently struggling to manage our cost but don't worry we are trying our level best to ensure that we will give you proper support and guidance in whatever ways we can do in the first phase of communication they did not mention that they were going to lay off people they just gave the hint to their employees that this is what is happening currently this is nothing but a first step of communication now there are people who got that message indirectly they started searching a job nobody asked them to leave but just because that one sign from the leadership team people who are already having good caliber good knowledge good competencies they started finding a job and they got the job few of the team members then it's time for the second phase of communication after a couple of months leadership team team again came stand on the stage and they said that as we discussed last time we tried our level best to manage our cost however we are still not able to now what we are requesting you if possible some of you can start reaching out to your friends and family members to find a job we are not laying off anyone as of now but if possible if you can get opportunity or not only your family members or friends we have our hr team we have our third parties we have our contacts with the other organizations hr team will help you whoever wants to they can do that and in the second phase of communication as leadership team talked about it people started reaching out to their family friends and hrs as well and accordingly another set of people got placed satisfactorily in other organizations now it's time for the third phase leadership team came on the stage and you know what happened in that particular meeting now people were very like they had anxiety pressure now what will happen it's a third discussion and now are they going to ask us to leave the organization what do you think what happened the people started to get 
exactly leaders team stand on the stage and they said that we are not laying off anyone because they had a target of 40% people to leave the organization they already left by themselves now remaining 60% people are in the organization this is nothing but how we are communicating a change what we communicate that matters so i hope everybody have got the message what i am trying to say and it is not only about the organization it can be in our personal life as well it can be any decision whatever we are going to change there should be a proper plan in the communication and if we do that well i think we can avoid the frustration and anxiety from the people around us and this is nothing but care for co worker or care for our family members i think that was it from me thank you so much everyone over to you toastmaster of the day thank you so much viraj thank you nice speech from you guys i am very happy to say that uh, all three pitches has done successfully and all of you very nicely present your thought present your things here i am very happy for that i heartily request to toastmaster devi devi for uh, present the report for all speakers thank you thank you all the three speakers are qualified first speaker chandrakant took 5 minutes and 10 seconds second speaker tulsi took 6 minutes and 57 seconds and third speaker nilesh took 5 minutes and 32 seconds so all are qualified please begin to manifest guys so we have break time for five minutes after break we will start this next meeting thank you thank you so much
ऑप्शन स्पीकर तो बदल कैन शेयर दैट पीपीटी फर्स्ट वन यस गाइस दैट इज अ माइंड सेट एंड देर आर आई प्रीवियसली टोल्ड यू दैट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ माइंड सेट one is positive and one is negative obviously as per mindset the success or failure decided if positive mindset definitely success is there if negative mindset definitely definitely and definitely failure is there please next one so guys all are waiting for next story so before that i want to i i would like to explain actual how will the result be achieved so first that thought right in story he boy had one thought first he like football but after that first come one thought and how that boy convert that thought into word how anyone can tell me how that convert that thought into word yes right he write it down so many times on the paper and shared with that parent that they they are they, they are the positive minded people right so the need to share the word with the positive minded people if you want to share something your thought positive thought make sure the people are positive minded second word third belief when he write down on the paper and shared with his parent after that he had a belief but that belief become a more strong because someone belief on his thought become more become and become more more belief is strong and once belief will be strong the automatically action will happen and that is a positive action because your thought is positive so now all of you waiting for that what happened with that boy because i told you story no result please click the next slide please one click here only one no result not possible there was a result there is a result 
and that result is you know who is this little boy this little boy is the great football champion lionel messi he is the captain of argentina now and he was big problem then also due to his positive mind said now he become a football player great and great seven times football championship won for argentina yes guys thank you so much now we are move to the table topic pitches so i invite to yes invite to toastmaster nilesh for take a nilesh why don't know okay sorry 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 i shall yeah please thank you. yeah thank you thank you so much uh good afternoon all i am vishal jadhav i am the toastmaster of the day today the purpose of toastmaster sorry purpose of i'm a little bit nervous today i don't know the purpose of uh, table topic is to provide the opportunity to everyone to speak up that can build their critical thinking and impromptu skills so i would i would like i have some questions set with me so i would like to have the guest should try the first so who are the guests today yeah please come it is a topic you have to speak on that topic for at least for one minute no he is a guest okay yeah 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 okay first let me tell you the rules about that thing it would be the one minute 60 second so to qualify for the voting we have the voting for the toastmaster who is the greatest speaker uh we have the yellow card the timer will show yellow card for 90 second that is a one and a half minute and we uh, have the red card for the th uh, two minutes that is a 90 second and we have the grace period of 30 second to wrap up the speech or we can summarize the speech so i would like to volunteer first any toastmaster who would like to take the initiative to speak up first chital you can whatever the whatever would you like i will read the topics the topic is do you think people can change yeah you can start good afternoon all so my topic is does people can change and i will say it as a coincidence my yesterday's post on linkedin was about that only so uh, i'll i'll talk about my post only it's about my father so can people mindset change or can people change so as we all know our parents are more than 50s and 60s now and we all love eating pizzas though it added our belly fat but still we all love pizza and i asked one day to my papa uh, let's go and have pizza he said what pizza i i just considered it as a bhakri that is a millet roti with the toppings so you can make it at home i said yes i can make it at home but can we go there and just try once he denied for almost two months i keep on uh, asking him for uh, i think two weeks every week i asked him one day he says by himself let's go and eat pizza i took that opportunity went there and we ordered a pizza we ate that pizza he was really happy that time and said yeah it is good but still it's a bhakri on toppings i said okay it should be fine with you but at least you tried this you tried a new thing you tried to change yourself so the new thing nowadays he's trying is reading a book 
so i agree people can change if you insist on something for uh, more than one two three times consistently if you ask someone they will change that's it thank you thank you for the question you have given a great try and a realistic example so we can correlate with that okay so next would you like to go who would like to go guest please come My son has written so clear with me. What's my guess? Welcome, sir. Let's talk about what we are. Ah, so yeah, getting an easy topic is something that gets everyone smile, and I would say that it is a coincidence that I got this topic. So for me, uh, it's a very personal thing. What makes me smile is that the achievements. i made it in my life in the past as well as which i am going to make in the future as well the very basic thing about why i find it very satisfactory or why it gives me the joy is that you have done something for very long time like i as i have told you like i have been preparing for ups it's a very long journey and you get to study for like 8 hours a day or sometimes you prolong it to 10 or 12 hours a day and then at the end of the on the d day where where you sit down and write the papers and then you get the results eventually and if uh, with the god's grace you find your name in those list so that's an achievement for you that's the result for you one year long hard work that you have done for all the sacrifices you have done uh, in the past uh, one year so that achievement is a very big thing for me and that is certainly that makes me smile so apart from that there are other things like spending time with your loved ones which is very much ignored these days that is the thing that gives you a very cherished experience of your life and these are the things that one should always look for smile is a very big thing in this uh, uh, beautiful world i would say so yeah that's all from my side thank you great sir Yeah. What's your good name? Ah, uh, Tusha. Tusha, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, the topic is if opportunity doesn't knock the door, knock, yeah. build the door. But yeah. Hope you are comfortable. Ah, uh, may I start? Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. uh toast master president uh all toast masters and dear guest uh my topic is if opportunity does not come uh, uh knock the or um, make the own door uh, actually what are what is uh, called as opportunity opportunity means uh, in any way we uh, get something that is a opportunity we can called as uh but many times it's not happens to us uh, because we are not searching for opportunities and if we are uh, we are eager to search something then uh, that may be called as a door of the opportunity we actually knock that opportunity actually the, i'm uh, facing a little bit difficult to explain uh, this in english uh, i understood the topic uh, but a very uh, basic example of opportunity uh, let's say getting a job but uh, when you uh, got the job then you can create uh, or work uh, very smartly hardly whatever say and you can uh, start working sincerely politely uh, then you may create your own steps to grow in that job that is what a doer for the uh your next opportunities uh, thank you very much thank you for your support your name tusha so i would like to give the feedback to tusha his thought process is very good because i heard your speech last time as well so thought process is very good just try to build it properly try to have use more words so you will spark <laughs>
yeah so i can see rahul kumar from online has raised his hand so rahul can you come on the screen yeah am i audible there yeah 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 you are audible so rahul we have colors like we have different colors like so i will oh, pick yeah. it for you so just tell me the color would you like the green one maybe okay yeah so the topic for you is do you think shyness can be cured do you think shyness can be cured please let us know whenever you want you are ready so we can start there is no disease in the world which was ever never had a cure correct beat covid or beat any disease so far we have seen people find it initially very hard to do what we going to do somebody can go and help me just imagine if india is that person who was looking to overcome a disease called covid what they do they seek help from across the world if somebody can help me somebody had a solution but probably that solution does not exactly heal me what they did they built the solution of their own shyness is not a disease which has not a cure we all have to think about one thing everybody has a personality according to which they behave they act shyness is just an attribute shyness on somebody is so beautiful that you acknowledge it it's just normal unless and until you find that your shyness is causing trouble to you that is the time you think and consider it as a mini disease and if it is a mini disease no more beautiful as it should have been that is the time to act and guess what my dear audience it has a cure we shy something most of our most of the time we shy, we shy away from something on which we are not comfortable we are not acquainted with do we shy from our father do we shy from our mother our brother our sister our favorite teacher no not correct because we interact with them and that is the cure it is just like fear you have the option fight everything or run away here you don't have to do that if you are feeling shy imagine why you are feeling shy and just take one step to a step shyness it will get cured for every time and remember it is the first time with the first dose you can treat this forever ever and ever but shyness is beautiful so embrace it over to you titian uh great to hear your thoughts rahul it was amazing thought you have shared thanks for that yeah so next would you like who would like to go yeah please come what's your name deepak nai hi deepak okay the topic is which person inspires you and why if you are not okay then we can change the topic no thank you so one minute on your side thank you so which my topic is which person inspire me and why so i can say there are many role models in our life but uh i find nowadays narendra modi is my role model because the way he speaks is really inspiring and he goes to different countries and i think many other leaders also get inspired by him uh that is why i think he's a role model uh otherwise uh even my father is a role model for me so even my mother is a role model for me because they have struggled so much to provide us with food necessities education so i think everyone has a role model in my life but there are the role models keep changing so as you and as in when you move away move in your life so you have different role models for your life so that is what i think and role model helps us to change our life and that is what i think we need to learn and we need to have a role model as many as we can and we need to learn many things from them so that is what i think uh so 
even in, uh, in this club also i think we can have a role model so to learn from each and every person can be a role model for us so we can learn um speaking skills communication skills or leadership skills so we can see how people they achieve different goals and we can learn from them so i think role model cannot be for one we cannot stick to one person only we need to have different role models otherwise we can't change so to keep a open mindset i think to have different to see different people who follow different cultures different education i think we need to have a different role model that is what i think and that is what i have learned till date thank you yeah so do we have time we can take one more so last one who would like to go What's your good name? Amya. Amya, oh yeah. <laughs> so the topic is, yeah. Life is 10% what happened to you. And 90% how you treat that. Yeah. How we react on that. Okay. So the topic, it actually quite fits with all of us because some things are present them some opportunities they present themselves to us and how we react to them decides what happens to our, us in future or like uh, my father's friend presented an opportunity of toastmasters to me and me picking up that op opportunity coming here every sunday is what i am doing with my life right now so every opportunity like uh, the, when I was, I gave my 12th board exams and then after that, uh, opportunities presented themselves in the form of colleges. It was my decision, my reaction to, to which college I choose and come there and work on myself and just that. <laughs> okay. So that was... Um, my reaction to the opportunity of choosing Good afternoon all. My target speaker, Toastmaster Chandrakant, delivered his first high speaker speech. Congratulations to him. He started well. He was energetic. He had prepared his speech very well. He was relaxed on the stage. There was no sign of anxiety when he delivered his speech. I never felt that it was his icebreaker speech. He used the stage very well. His hand gestures was good. He also paused whenever required during his speech. The pace was very well done. Voice modulation, the most important in our speech, was well done by him. He used all the adjectives that were there in our dictionary. So, this was his first icebreaker speech. So there is no recommendation from my end since it is his first speech, but I would congratulate him for the best speech and wish him best of luck for his next speech to be delivered. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster. Thank you, Thank you. Evaluator, Mr. Toastmaster, Deep, please come on to the stage and provide your feedback for Toastmaster to see. Thank you so much.
Mr. President, fellow Toastmaster, and my dear guest. As I already mentioned that uh, my speaker was targeting a project which was necessarily having the evaluation and feedback. I, being the evaluator, going to put few of the pointers for her, for her next speech, the next part of her today's speech. Now, what are those pointers? She excelled at her content. At the end, at least, we came to know there is something like FOMO and there is something like JOMO, right? So how many of you remember the long forms of those, these two abbreviations? Any of you? Yes, Toastmaster Sanika, what is FOMO? Great. Have a round of applause for Toastmaster Sanika. So that gives at least a proof to me that my speaker achieved her way of content that was up to the mark, at least in terms of the information delivered. So now it was much informative. That's what I would like to propose here, what she has given her speech. So that was, she excelled at her speech. But as I said, whenever any speech consists of, it consists of various you know, recipe. It's like a cooking. Speech is like a cooking. So any cooking has some recipes. There should be some masala, this thing, that thing, right? In the same way, in any speech, necessarily there should be your voice modulation, which may be having your tone, your uh, like speed of talking. I found little bit she was mono. I hope you like it. Monotonous in the sense, I agree, it was like an informative speech. Her content necessarily was having some information to be delivered. But she could have just given, maybe uh, touch with certain personal story, maybe some form of Jomo related personal story, maybe from her personal life or from her official uh, life, she could have brought up. So that I have found. So that she may work on, right? So personal story always, it's for everybody, that personal story always and always brings about the interest of the audience. So ultimately, any speech, has to be considered to be given as a final outcome to connect with the audience, right? And so to connect with the audience always, the personal story, uh, story can always play a very important role. Last but not least, few of the conclusions or maybe the points to be again, to be improvised is like that at the end of her speech, I little bit found there was no concrete or the conclude or precise conclusion. And necessarily there was no any call of action, call for action. Usually any speech is considered as a well speech when a speaker ultimately gives some, you know, a call to action, a final words that was missing. So to just conclude my evaluation that she could more work on her voice modulation, she could work on the personal stories into her content. And of course she can go for the next level. Thank you very much for nice meeting. Thank you so much, Master Deep, for your valuable feedback. The next uh, evaluator, Toastmaster Jayesh, he will provide the feedback for Toastmaster Nilesh. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please. Uh, now it's okay? Yes. Is it okay now? Yes, yes. Thank you. So first thing, whenever we have to deliver a speech, we have to look on the objectives. If we are not able to fulfill the objective, then there is no any use. So the objectives were to communicate the change effectively. Our speaker did the fantastic job and he has 
enlighten the path how to communicate the change in convenient way so that audience could grab it the impacted people could grab it to so kudos to you you have fulfilled the objectives very nice second thing which i like when you came on the stage i felt you are comfortable calm and composed you had everything in your mind crystal clear what you want to deliver on the stage amazing one now but let's stop the recommendation parts and go ahead with the three recommendation mainly the first thing in the beginning you asked question to the audience you shared some information with the audience so that you can hook them yes you did a good job however as a senior toastmaster i was expecting you could give us the numbers example 20% 30% 80% how many and from where have you brought this data example from who guideline we have found these many people are affected with anxiety when there is a change so these types of facts can make your words more credible point number 1 second point during your speech you have taken almost 5 minutes and there was only one story in between this company wants to some cost reduction and what are the steps company has followed no doubt in this one but before you stay start your story you can also take us in that journey example this was the two wheeler production company situated in maharashtra let us say pune near bhosri it was acquiring a land of 2 acres lot of machines were there 650 which you used 650 people including all manager workers were working there then we can see okay how big is that company how it look like what types of machines are there and then we can feel more attached with the situation so act little bit more around it the third point which you could add the conclusion you could say first inform the audience second give some more hints clear hints and then third action so just work on it and then definitely your speech will be on next level add some more variety more information around it thank you over to you thank you thank you jay toastmaster jay for your valuable feedback so now i invite to devai for report timing report for all evaluators Uh, first of all i will give the report of table topic speakers and then i will give the report of evaluators uh, all the table topic speakers are qualified and for evaluators except toastmaster rohan uh, both toastmaster deep and jay sir are qualified for ot thank you thank you thank you the, the next is that uh, now the our evaluator will show the report so first i invite to aha counter toastmaster shitam good afternoon president toastmaster of the day fellow fellow toastmasters and guests so it was really a uh, good to note down very less filler words and uh, filler sounds so i will first go with the uh, one with the names who haven't made use of r uh, r sounds or the filler words so in the speeches 
Chandrakant, uh, uh, Toastmaster Chandrakant and Toastmaster Nilesh, you haven't used a single filler word or filler sound. Please have a big round of applause for them. All the evaluators, Toastmaster Rohan, Toastmaster Deep, Toastmaster Jay, haven't used a single filler word or filler sound. Please have a big round of applause for them too. Then our, for table topic sessions, uh, we have a guest as well as our Toastmaster. So out of them, Vineet, Rahul, and Amya haven't used the filler words. Please have a big round of applause for them. Coming to the Toastmaster of the day, Sanket, uh, President Rohan, uh, Timer Devai, and Vishal, Toastmaster Vishal. They also qualified for being not using a single filler words. Please give them a big round of applause. So overall, it was a good experience to not note down much of the filler words and not even listening to it. So very well done and congratulations to all. And I think you can improve more. Just stick to the point. Just get a little slow down whenever you speak and you will see the difference definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. The, the next evaluator, Toastmaster Sanika. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to begin with uh, the use of phrase of the day and word of the day. So phrase of the day and word of the day, both were used by Toastmaster Ninesh and Toastmaster Sanke. Phrase of the day was used by Toastmaster Ninesh, Toastmaster Tunsi, Toastmaster Rohan. And word of the day was used by Toastmaster Deep. Uh, big round of applause for all of them for using this verse. Now let's come to a part where we can have some improvements when speaking next time. So somebody said thoughts, effects. So instead of that, it can be said as thought affects. Uh, don't knew can be said as didn't know. I have chose, I chose. One is a positive and a negative. It can be said as one is positive and one is negative. Parents was can be said as parents were. You can be snow down can be said as you can snow down. Uh, there is a pronunciation correction. Didn't should be spelled as didn't instead of didn't. Um, then first were exam and career. So it can be said as first was the exam and second career. Uh, stick on that can be said as stick to that or stick to it. Uh, complete my speech can be said as continued my speech. Uh, he write it down can be said as he wrote it down. Actions will happen. Uh, the better way can be action shall be taken or things shall be acted upon. Now let's come to a part where we uh, demonstrate, we had some phrases which demonstrated good usage of language. So first is why looking for change in the world, my world set for a change. Uh, somebody used sky is the limit. Humans are wired in a way. Uh, the term was coined by cultivating gratitude, trapped by this feeling. And we also had some a great usage of vocabulary, empowered, which means giving power or authority to people. Gratitude is being thankful or so, showing appreciation. Timid is lack of courage or being in fear. Stunned can be uh, being shocked or astonished. Anxiety, worry, nervous, stressed. Brag, excessively proud or boastful of achievements. Compassion, sympathetic, kind towards people. Criticism, difficult uh, disappointments or disapprovals, competencies, abilities, and monotonous can be repetitive or lack in variety. So this was my report. A big applause for all these beautiful usage of grammar and the vocabulary. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Great report for language editor. Next, I would like to invite our General, uh, General Evaluator, Postmaster Nilesh.
presiding officer, fellow Toastmasters, and their guests. Hello once again. Okay, now it's time for the general evaluation report. Let's start with the Surgeon Rams, Toastmaster Nikhil. I think you had done a great job today. I understand that there were some issues with the technical glitches and uh, logistic issues, but that should be fine. I think uh, we have already mentioned everything on the board as well. Uh, you explained the like rules and regulations in the beginning itself. You also talked about uh, the theme when you started with this particular meeting. Great job in that as well. Uh, only one recommendation I have, we started around 10 minutes late today. So definitely we can work on it since as I said that there were some technical glitches. But apart from that, you did a great job. Next role player, let's talk about timer for today, Toastmaster Devi. And Devi, you did a great job because continuously since beginning, you were just showing the card on time. Uh, I think uh, you explained the report card as well. Uh, I was just noting the uh, timings as well for everyone. I think you were bang on with that. So great job. Only one recommendation to you. When we are showing the cards, you were like holding your hand like this. But uh, let's say table topic. We should be continuously holding that particular card for 30 seconds at least. So that person will be aware that yes, I have missed that part. Because it happened with me. When I was delivering the speech, when I was talking to the, to the people, I forgot to like see the card and then it was down. So I didn't realize whether it is green or yellow. There is only one recommendation. Apart from that, you did a great job in your role as well. Let's talk about AHA counter for today. Uh, Toastmaster Sheetal. I think uh, Sheetal did a wonderful job because when she started with her report, she started with the flawless speaker and that is the right way to do. Then you also talked about um, uh, recommendations from your side. We can take a pause and then, you know, just to avoid the filler sounds as well. So great job in that. Let's move ahead with the next role. I think language evaluator Toastmaster uh, Sanika. Yes. Sanika, I think uh, wonderful job done. Because uh, when you started the explaining your role, you explained everything properly, word of the day and phrase of the day. Also, you took the examples from the audience as well, if they can use word of the day and phrase of the day. Apart from that, when you were delivering your report, you started with the you know uh, good usage as well as poor usage. And also, you mentioned that whosoever have used the words, you took their name as well. Great job in that. Only one recommendation from my side, when we are telling the uh, like guidelines for this particular language evaluator, you could have mentioned that when someone can use word of the day or phrase of the day, audience can give thumbs up. So that is only one recommendation I can give. But apart from that, you did a wonderful job. Okay, next, I will go with maybe uh, speech evaluators. I will not be evaluating Toastmaster Jay because he evaluated my speech. But apart from that, Toastmaster Rohan and uh, Toastmaster Deep. So if I talk about Toastmaster Rohan, a uh, wonderful job done because uh, when you started over here, you started with the positive side because it's a break, icebreaker speech. You started with a positive note. You inspired that person because I know that when it's your first speech, it's some sort of, you know, uh, anxiety is always there. Uh, you appreciated uh, Toastmaster Chandrakan. You shown the right words and you know, energy. You gave the, all the feedbacks properly. You didn't give any kind of recommendation because as it was icebreaker speech, but I feel that you can at least give one recommendation to the speaker so that they can improve next time. Apart from that, I think great job done in that as well. Let's talk about our next evaluator, Toastmaster Jay. As always, Toastmaster Jay, uh, sorry, Toastmaster Deep. As always, Toastmaster Deep was bang on with his presence of mind and with his energy. Uh, we always see that Toastmaster Deep. Uh, when you started with your uh, evaluation, you also took the audience interaction. You asked questions like Toastmaster uh, Sanika gave the answer as well about FOMO and JOMO. So great way to start your speech, although it was not your speech, but for the evaluation as well. For the less time, still you try to have an audience engagement. So great job done in that. You talked about positive side, improvement areas, again, positive side. CRC approach, commendation, recommendation, commendation. That's what we follow in normal Toastmasters meeting. You did a great job in that. Thank you so much for that. Okay, let's talk about our presiding officer for today, Toastmaster Rohan. Toastmaster Rohan, I think um, I don't have any feedback for you. Because the way you started the meeting, you started with the theme, which our Toastmaster of the day had. You started with that theme, you gave the introduction about the theme, and then you had a guest introduction as well. You did a fantastic job in that. So kudos to you. Let's come to the next role player, Table Topic Master, Toastmaster Vishal. So Toastmaster Vishal, I guess it's your first role, Toastmaster, Table Topic Master? Yes, but I didn't realize that. You had, that, you had those cheats, you were asking people to come and uh, take the cheats. That is the right way to start with the uh, any table topics, basically. Uh, 
there was audience engagement after every speaker you were you know mentioning your points as well you were adding on that great job done i didn't find any kind of um, confidence issues or you know any kind of uh, disengagement with the audience you were bang on with that you also started with the season postmaster first and then you went to the uh, exp uh, like uh, guests so kudos to you great job done on your part now let's talk about our final role player protagonist of our today's meeting toastmaster sanket i think toastmaster sanket it was your first uh, role play of toastmaster of the day i feel that you were energetic you were very much prepared you shown slides as well um you started with the bang on with a the positivity the theme was excellent because this is my personal favorite theme positivity uh, you started asking questions to the audience you were prepared till the end i think uh, i don't have any recommendation for you as such as far as team and overall uh, engagement is concerned the only one thing for the body part like when we are talking to the people in the audience when we are on the stage like continuously if you are like walking here and there then there is some sort of distraction i understand that stage you should be there but it should not be too much as well that you know audience is always getting uh, disengaged but apart from that you did a fantastic job since it was your first role kudos to you at then i would like to clap for everyone for the wonderful job they have done in front of the place thank you so much everyone it was a wonderful meeting now i would like to call our uh, those much of the day for the further postings thank you so much thank you so much viewers your thank you feedback for all evaluators speakers and for me also yeah so the next is i i asked some questions to everyone anyone remember when you come on stage i asked one question common yes why am i asking that every time loudly i ask because this question is very basic every time we ask to everyone anywhere right but that response is very important that response decided your mindset the other identified can identify to you on the basis of that response i just quickly uh, tell you that how someone come and ask me how are you i said i am tired look at my face look at my expression i am tired not good that is not my day that expression clearly tell us to other you are not happy you are not positive at that moment right next that type that type is a negative mindset person the mindset is a negative right now right the next i told you so all of you come come into the mediocre type most of the people come into mediocre type like someone come how are you and he say i am okay i am fine i am good i am happy like right? a little smile on my face not more than means that mediocre type is always in average idle state not taking much more risk yeah but he is happy so all of the guy come into this type mediocre type the last is the positive mindset people so simple way to identify sometimes some are people here and i ask them how are you they say excellent great yeah that word you can see on my face you can't say that excellent you can't say like that right you have to say excellent you you also see your faces front of mirror when you pronounce excellent great that time automatically your face that convert into positive face right that is the way identify the positive mindset people yes thank you guys so final i conclude my topic with the following quote that quote just come into my mind due to that positivity maybe from last uh, two to three months i am suffer with lot of positivity 
started lot of activities reading book i i never i i, I don't like that reading a book but from last two to three months i read four book means two are in come in progress but i have completed two book the first one is that uh, rohan told already that power of subconscious mind and i recommend it second one is the attitude is everything it's a very nice book and all are your life is there so i just conclude my uh, topic nothing is important in life until you are not thinking nothing is important in your life until you are not thinking same like success will never come until you are not believing on your thoughts thank you guys thank you so much my dear friends remember that a positive mindset is a key to a success of life i just hand over to mr president rohan yeah. okay guys uh, now the time is the let's do the voting for a best role player and auxiliary role player so zoom master can can you please launch the poll for online people yeah read out the name yes yes uh, best speaker we will start with best speaker toast master chandra khan please close the eyes first sorry guys uh just just uh, just small instruction uh, before the voting close your eyes and when uh, i i read out the name just raise your hand if you want to give vote for the person okay yes yeah we start put your heads down heads down yeah so very secret we don't want to expose our vote we we'll start with toastmaster chandrakant Postmaster Tulsi, Postmaster Nilesh, Best ever topic speaker, postmaster speaker, yes, green. Yes, we shall. Yes, Rahul. Yes, Deepak. Good master, Anya. Graduator, Postmaster D. Postmaster J.
best auxiliary role player both for the seeker both marks for tanika Toastmaster Devay. Padrigam. Toastmaster Nilesh. Best main role player, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Sanjit. General evaluator, Toastmaster Nilesh. Table topic master, toast master Vishal.
coding is over or we can Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. The topics which inspires us and helps us to implement in our life to improve it more is always a favorite for me. And this topic is favorite because I have read that book one, only once, but I have to read it once again so that I get more gist of that. So thank you Toastmaster of the day for choosing this topic. And this is the reason, as you saw, that a footballer, Messi, who was not capable of being a footballer because only of his mindset, he has not only won the best player, but also he has won the World Cup for his country. So stay positive, be positive, your life will definitely take off from where you are. Now it's time for the moment of glory. The best speaker for today is Toastmaster Chandrakan. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. A photo. Best table topic speaker. There is a tie over here between Toastmaster Sheetal and guest Vinit. I would call upon both of you to come on the stage. Best evaluator, Toastmaster Deep. Best auxiliary role player, Toastmaster Sanika. Best role player for today's meeting is Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Couple of announcements. Those who have not renewed their membership, please renew it because we are going to increase our fees from the next month, that is August. Second announcement, we will be having our milestone meeting that is 458th. We will let you know the dates as our PR will publish uh, posters. We will let you know about that. With that, I would declare the meeting as adjourned. Yes. <laughs> President, first time when I saw group pictures, we can take it.
Gracias. 